I want to do multiplication by a scalar and subtraction of vectors using descriptive notation. A reminder, when I mean a scalar can be any number, they can be negative and they can have units. A vector is something that has a magnitude and a direction. The magnitude has the units, the direction does not, but a magnitude cannot ever be negative. A magnitude of a vector is always a positive number. And direction can be any unique description that provides the direction the vector is pointing. So the rules for multiplication by a scalar are as follows. For any non-negative scalar, you simply multiply it and the magnitude together. If you have the negative 1, that changes the direction. Multiplying by the number 1 points the vector in the opposite direction. And the other negative scalar does both, because any other negative scalar is just the combination of a non-negative scalar and the negative 1. So let's see that in action. If I have a vector here, that's a, then vector 2a would just look like this. It points in the same direction, but it has a magnitude that's twice the original magnitude. If I have a vector a, that's say 5.2 meters, give it a direction up, then 7a would be the product 7 times 5.2 meters as a magnitude that is also up, which turns out to be 36.4 meters up. For another example, if I have a vector r, which is 4 meters, we'll give that a, a direction to the left, and I have a scalar, which I'll call omega, that's the Greek letter omega, and it has 6, and its units is 1 over seconds, that turns out to be a frequency, we'll see that later on, then the combination omega r vector is equal to the combination 6, 1 over seconds, times 4 meters as the magnitude, and it is also to the left. So we get 24 meters per second to the left. Now let's look at multiplication by negative 1. If we multiply a by negative 1, that just changes the direction. So that's 5.2 meters down the opposite direction of the original vector. And if we take negative 1 to our vector, we get 4 meters, same magnitude, opposite direction, which would be to the right. Now, just a question of notation, we will sometimes represent negative 1 times a as negative a. Any other negative number is just a combination of those two. Negative 3 is equal to negative 1 times positive 3, so we just do the previous operations again. So let's do one of those. I have the vector b, which is equal to 8 meters, it has a magnitude of 8 meters, 30 degrees north of east. My scalar u is negative 4 seconds. I'm going to look at the vector b divided by u. Well that's just 1 over u times the vector b, and that's negative 1 over 4 seconds, which is a combination of negative 1 times 1 over 4 seconds, which is positive, multiply this, the positive part and the magnitude of the vector, so I have 1 over 4 seconds times 8 meters as the magnitude, then the negative 1 flips the direction, and so 30 degrees north is 30, becomes 30 degrees south of west. Now you may not see that immediately, but if you just go to your north and east, south and west, and draw 30 degrees north of east, and you flip it around in the opposite direction, you can see it's 30 degrees south of west. So now if I just multiply this out, I get a vector that is 2, meters per second is the magnitude, 
and the direction 30 degrees south of west. Now we can do subtraction because A minus B is the same as A plus negative 1 times B. So we take the vector B, flip its direction by multiplying by the negative by negative 1, and then using vector addition to add it to A. So I have vector B, negative B, or negative 1 times B, points in the opposite direction with the same magnitude. So now I can translate it so that the tail is at the tip of A. Here's negative B. And I add these two so the resulting vector is from the tail of A to the tip of B. So here is A minus B. Just for another example, we can do B minus A for the same procedure. We have B, which I'll redo B here, B, and now we need negative A. Negative A is going to go and try to do a different color in that direction. And so negative A, B, plus negative 1 times A, A in the other direction. And now the result is adding these two vectors. So that goes from the tail of B to the tip of A, and B minus A. So you'll note, if you, if you look at A minus B and B minus A, I just did these by hand, but it is absolutely true that A minus B is equal to negative B minus A.